Today I am sharing the latest statistic that Japanese government did last year which nationalities Japanese ladies, Japanese women get married to. There were 6,000 couples, that is Japanese wife and non-Japanese guys. It's not bad, it's not bad. Marriage rate is kind of going down. Number five. <laughs> Ding. UK. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that something that celebrates, but United Kingdom is took the fifth place. Two hundred couple sounds a little bit, you know, very few. <laughs> Robots. If it's not Scottish, it's crap. <laughs> Other guys from the UK. In Japan, teaching English. I don't know. They don't. They don't uh, take occupation. So <laughs> okay, let's move on to number four. Chan. Brazil. Yeah, some of you guessed that right. I was. I wasn't really surprised actually. There are so many people who has. Um, relatives in Japan and I've seen few girls who date Brazilian boys so yeah it's not super surprised 250 couples 250 couples got married last year number three Chan. China and Taiwan 610 Japanese girls got married to either Chinese or Taiwanese. It's no surprise. <laughs> it's no surprise. There are so many Chinese people in Japan. We are very close. Taiwanese. Taiwan, Taiwan people really like Japan. Japan like Taiwan. It's, it's not hard to imagine, actually. Chinese is the biggest population in Japan. As a foreigner, Chinese people are very clever when it comes to language. Japanese language uh, basically comes from China, so it's easier for them to learn Japanese. So I assume most of them, most of these couples, uh, these Chinese men speak Japanese and they don't have much issue communicating. Gerald, the Taiwanese are said to be like Chinese versions of Japanese. I think that expression is correct. Um, I think they have similar value to Japan, even though they are Chinese country. Victor, what's the likelihood a Japanese woman from Japan would be willing to marry a Canadian-born Chinese and want to move to Canada? From what I heard, they are interested in they are interested in Asian-born, which uh, are foreign-born Asians. They think they are cool and they have same. They still have same culture, right? I mean, half. And then I see foreign-born Asian dating Japanese people too, Japanese girls too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. There are so many successful story story on Asian men who living outside Japan. Let's move on to the second place, number two. America. <laughs> すごいね。アメリカだって。United States of America. So to be honest, I was surprised. I was surprised. American guys beat his Chinese boys. Although the population, you know, I think there there is a big difference between Chinese population and American population in Japan. No more. Yeah, but American servicemen. True. True. Don't they usually move back to the US? But yeah, they might marry in Japan as well. So yeah, I think they have a big percentage for sure. Japan has the biggest country in um, when it comes to American military. Yeah, I think Japan, Germany, Korea, that's the ranking. Maybe there are many uh, English teachers too. Dennis, I wonder how many are from Hawaii. Oh, I wonder. I mean, there are some, right? Because Hawaii is the the closest America. 
Okay, let's move on to the first place. And I think some of you guessed already, right? Well, the first place is Korea. Yes, it's been like that for decades, to be honest. Even before K pop stuff is happening, people tend to get married to Korean if that is foreigners. A thousand and five hundred twenty couples got married last year. Yeah, I think it's even bigger and bigger with the rise of K pop, K idols, BTS, and stuff, you know. Mm, yeah, it's true that we have a governmental issues between governments, between nations, but not exactly between、um, individuals. I heard that there are some couples who break up or divorce because of their, the difference of political opinion. Yeah, seems like that happens, but. As a first impression, or you know, just to get、um, to be friends with or to date, people don't really have prejudice. Korean people who live in Japan tend to like Japan, right? <laughs> they, don't, they don't come here to hate us. So it happens more in Japan, I guess. I think it's easier to get along with Korean people if we don't really talk about、um, politics. I think in the fundamental base, we have similar, we share similar values, Korean and Japanese.、Mm. That's why we, it's easier to get along with. Katsu, Japanese bow, Korean bow, sign of respect. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Summer is over in a flash, and you're on.